How's it going? Today, I hope you had a great day today. I'm feeling really good today. I was working on a song that I got really far on and I was excited. I was just having fun. So you'll eventually see it. I'll post it up on my YouTube channel when it's all done. But I want to tell you about possessions. Things that you own, like the microwave, that Instapot. I mean, that fire extinguisher. Right there. <sighs> possessions don't make you happy, first and foremost. You don't need things to be happy. Happiness is an inside job. You, you create that feeling on your own. By doing things, you create it on your own, just in general, but it helps when you do things that you really enjoy to do, that you really enjoy doing. Like, I really, really, really enjoy music, and I did a lot of music today, and that's why I feel so good right now. Possessions are called possessions because they possess you. You think when you have a mindset, and I've had this before, when you have a mind, I've been trying to get rid of stuff. I don't need possession. I don't need stuff. I don't need things. I'm trying to have as few things as possible because then you just have less clutter. It's just less to worry about, less to think about. But when you have a mindset of, I need to have this, I need to have this, I need to have this, those things are possessing your energy. You are, they are pulling you towards them, making you think that you need that object to be happy or to feel a certain way. And while it might make you feel a certain way, it might have you feeling good for a day, two, maybe. You know, like you get a new car or something like that. You've been like, oh, I really want this new car. Like, you know, this would be great. I mean, sir, I mean, it might be great to have a new car. Like for, you know, two weeks, you'd be like, oh, this is amazing. And then it's going to feel just as pretty much, pretty much just as, I mean, I don't, I've never had a new car, but pretty much just as anything you have in your life. You'll be like, oh, well, but the next thing, I mean, a new car is pretty big and it would take a lot longer than, you know, something small, but it's like, just imagine your phone. You have, you have your current phone. Oh, I want the new phone. I want the next phone. Okay. You get the next phone. And then it's like, it's like, that wasn't enough. It's like the next time, you know, it's like you won't, you don't want to use this phone and you don't want to use this phone until it breaks, you want the next phone when they announce the next phone. You're like, oh, but I want the next phone, it's better. This is this one's better. In all honesty, they're incremental improvements and it doesn't make a big difference when you buy it, except for it takes a lot of money out of your bank account. That's the main thing. But, like with this phone I have right here, I'm gonna wait until it literally dies. Like I cannot, I cannot turn it on anymore. Okay, like I spent a lot of money on this phone. It's a good phone. It's great. But I'm not looking at the new phones, especially since they're 5G. I don't like 5G. I'm not messing with 5G. 4G is just fine for me. Pull Wi-Fi, dude, this is fast enough. Like, I don't need anything more. But you know eventually they're going to be, we're going to, whatever. I'm not going to talk about that right now. But when you focus your attention on things that you already have, I mean, not even things, like things that you are. Like, who are you? Like, you're an infinite being, you're a spiritual, you're the universe experiencing itself. Yes, those are two amazing things about you. Uh, but then on your, on your human level, your third dimensional level, what do you like doing on a daily basis? Do you like art? Do you like creating things? Do you like being creative? Do you like science? Do you like math? Do these things. I mean, you could be the next great inventor. You could be the next, you know, scientist. Scient scientist, I was going to say scientician, but I don't know where that word came from. You could be the next mathematician that cracks like quantum physics or something like that. I don't know. Like you could be the world's next greatest, you know, anything, anything that you feel called to do. Everybody's here on the earth to serve a purpose. We have, you know, we're not being used, but we are here to do something. And what you feel called to do, what you enjoy doing the most, what brings you the most happiness and joy is what you are here to do on the planet, on the earth. Like I feel that with music. I feel that with cleaning up trash, being environmentally friendly. I really, my goal, my dream is to help clean up 
the trash out of the ocean, put it in, you know, you can't recycle it. I mean, you gotta consolidate it, get it out of the ocean for the most part. Help reforest, like the Amazon, all the, everything. Just environmentally friendly. I wanna help, I wanna do my part to kinda save the planet. You know, no one person is ever gonna do anything on their own. This is, a, we are a collaborative, collective human consciousness. We are a civilization, we are a society that bounces ideas off of each other. No one person did anything. You gotta think about that. No one person did anything on their own. I mean, they might have created something on their own, but you think, well, Albert Einstein did this. Well, I mean, he might, I don't know his history, but he might've not created the, sh the clothes he was wearing, the food that he ate to allow him to live long enough to create whatever, you know, you need people from the past, past inventions or work to help you move forward. So you need some stuff to live. Like you need food, you need shelter. I mean, you don't need shelter. I mean, you could live in a tent in the woods, thunder and rain, but I wouldn't advise it. It's not very fun, but you could easily live below your means. No problem and save a bunch of money doing it because I mean, you, like, what are you spending money for anyways? Like, what sense does it make to spend all of your money on things you don't really need? And I have done this, like, in the recent past myself. I'm not perfect. I've spent money on things like, oh, you know, I bought this. I bought, like, a when I first moved into this apartment, I bought a plunger and I bought a toilet bowl br brush bowl brush because i was like oh i'll probably need this at one point i used the toilet bowl brush but plunger i've only used one time in the four months i've been here so you know just little things you buy like if you can find, try to find stuff for free but only buy it if you need it okay and if you already have something like it like you you have a phone that works you don't need a new phone Unless this phone is completely broken, there's no way to get a new one. You, then you, you can get a new phone. But that's just an example. Ha possessions are not the way to happiness. It is an inside job. You do it by paying attention to what you are already grateful for, what you paying attention to what you have and feeling grateful for it, and taking the time to appreciate the people that you're around, the person that you are, everything that is in your life right now is what brings happiness. So, I hope you found some useful information in this video. I hope you have a great night tonight, and I will, I'm gonna get some good sleep, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.